My name is William Nathaniel Burke. Baseball, basketball, softball. Well, when I started playing baseball, <clears throat> really was in the backyard at home. A homemade gourd and backboard and stuff. And that's how I started playing back there with the rest of the homeboys. And they, they, get, they saw I was left handed and they were all I wanted me to play on their side. <laughs> but I could change hands on them. I played on the junior varsity the same way. I was left handed and everything. Then the coach so I could play left handed. We was right hand, so it put me on the bus. But some little guy didn't like it, but hey, you win your respects. And I also used to play baseball. My uncle, he saw I could throw, <coughs> throw ball, but I didn't have no control of it. Mm -hmm. He taught me how to control it. Uh, I like speed. I perform speed. I just, just watch my daddy rebuild molds and stuff. And I just watch him and learn from him for my life. And then as time went on, I, Lord bless him, I got my own car. And I just like fixing it up. And I, and I, and I got tired of the car, then I got in the trucks. I fixed them up. And then like some of my buddies go to tell me, man, we don't carry that truck to the car show. And I start carrying the first truck I built, carry it to the car show and win a trophy with it. And at the time when another guy wanted to buy it for me. And I sold him that, that truck. Then I turned around and bought another one and built it. And I just, I just fell in love with the hot rod. As I, <coughs> as I, as time went on, I got married and everything, and and said, but me couldn't finish school like that. I couldn't read and write. But as time went along, I, uh, the Lord blessed me with my, my own business. I didn't couldn't couldn't read or write, and uh, how He blessed me. I put me staying humble and doing what I was supposed to do in his eyesight. I started off with a, with a, a horse, a small lawnmower. As time went on, the Lord blessed me. I got a bigger, big, bigger, a bit bigger mower. And as time went on, I got a little bit bigger mower. And then, and then the Lord told me, he said, now get your, get your stump around a stump ground grind stump and bless me with a stump ground and I had never run one. And he, 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 he told me, he said, get your dump truck. I got, a, I got a dump truck and all the equipment and stuff I need. But I still couldn't read and write. But, and uh, if I had to go on a job, a new job, I would pray to the Lord to direct me to the job. He would do just that. But the key point is, I paid my tithes and offering every, every Sunday. And how uh, he blessed me and my wife with this home. Still couldn't read and write. Started off from my old neighbor. I was helping a friend over there cut a tree down. and. Uh, she wanted to know who that guy was cutting that tree down. And cause she had one in her front front yard, front yard. <clears throat> and I and my neighbor the guy told me say, go over there and see about getting that, get to talk to her about that tree. So I went I went over there that next day and, and uh she came to the door and introduced herself. I said, I heard you got a tree you want down. She said, yeah, that right there at my deck. And so I said, I'll get it next week. 
And so I know that next week he took that tree down, towards my pastor. He was he was he was in the house. And she said, boy, get up and go out and help Mr. Burke carry that tree down back of the house. <laughs> he come out and come on down and induce himself. And uh, got it all moved down and, and it started from there. I started coming back to go by and see her. He, he, he know that I was saved and thing when I was talking to his, his, his mama. And as time went on, he uh, he had a he, he was a, he was a goody boy, young man. He had a little little wild streak in him. <laughs> but I remember when he got saved, he got saved at home. And like like it did on me and him was like grow a bond, sure enough. Then and one night we were sitting in in the house on the floor, he said, yeah, he called me, said, Mr. Burke. He looked at me, said, Mr. Burke, he said, I ain't never seen my mama so happy since you've been dating her. He said, when well, well, you asked her to marry, marry her, I didn't know what to do, but turn a flip or cry. And uh, as time went on, he, he, he mentioned to me again. He said, you know, I asked my mama? I said, not, not yet. But uh, as time went on, when he got Eddie got saved and everything, and I could I could tell like he he was really sincere in his walk. There's so much I could tell about him, but he respect me a whole lot. I didn't give no reason for him to be saying, "Well, I saw you back there in my bedroom," or nothing like that. I just give him and his mama a high respect. Like I said, I didn't give him an excuse to see why I've been half-stepping. He just grown, he just grown to me. And I, cause I, when, when he got out of line, I would, I would talk to him about letting him know, hey, there ain't, there ain't no way to do that. It don't look nice, son. Yes, sir. Yeah, cause I didn't, I didn't know to get up, get up, get mad with him or nothing. I didn't raise my boys at him or nothing. I tell him in a kind way, you know, I think the guilt will get him talking kind to him, or hollering back at him and stuff. Yeah, I love him. I love him. Dearly, but being my being my pastor, I do. I love him to the bone.